Uh, hey everybody, I think Oracle just pulled up and uh, some crazy stuff's been going on. So we're gonna go and check out, check out what's going on. Hey. Hey John. How are you doing? Good. I How's finally the made job? it. Well, it's about almost midnight. Come from North Carolina. Yeah. Okay, what is this? Show you what I got. Let me. Uh, well, I can't see it right here. Yeah. Let me get under the light. Right, let me get out of the car. Yes, ma'am. Yep. So, everybody, this is uh, Oracle in Hendersonville, North Carolina. Um, this is addressed to Baba Henry Raymond. And uh, let's, see, let's see what it is. Yeah, let's see. Care of Joni Ramo Antonelli. It was sent to the house in the mailbox today. Wow, wow. Henderson County District Court Civil Calendar, August 9, 2022, Courtroom 3. Mm -hmm. Is that Fritz Macer, Mercer? Fritz Mercer. There's Henry's name. Henry versus Josephine. Mm -hmm. Henry jo versus Josephine. Yes. So, <clears throat> years ago when I first kind of started being active again back on uh, Just Conspiracy, it was all because I got arrested with Baba just for helping him stand up and say, that woman's not my attorney. Mm -hmm. We got arrested for that. And what was that, four years ago? So for four and a half years, we haven't been able to get a court of law. But the wrongdoer, the person who commits trust fraud, mm -hmm. well, they, they can open up the court and drag Henry in, no problem. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Makes no sense to me. And the only way a court of law is going to show up is if you, you show, show up. up. Hi, John. Hey, Jamie. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here today. Thank you probably you. saw what this is about with the two-minute clip that came before this, but what's going on? Well, my dad, Henry Ramo, asked that we would um, do this video to invite you to participate. Be, our, be a participant, even if you sit down and watch what's going on Tuesday. One week from today, Tuesday, August 9th, 9 a.m., Hendersonville, North Carolina, courthouse. He's inviting the public. He's inviting uh, church folk. He's inviting the community that have been so supportive of my 91-year-old war veteran dad, who's got an incredible heart. He's an amazing man. And uh, Josephine has is bringing him to court again. So this is uh, nine years of... Uh, a culmination of so many things that have happened to myself, my dad, and our family because of what Josephine has done. You could look at the videos that John has done and the Just Conspiracy and catch up with some of those things, um, which included um, property being stolen from my dad, uh, a piece of land, and a, and, and a home being taken away, Josephine moving into that home, taking the all of the money and all, all the, money. the trust. She, she stole the trust. Yes, absolutely. She tried to get my dad in a three-day committal, and then she tried to arrest him, which we were Actually, arrested. she did arrest him. I know. She arrested him, you, your brother. Yes, and then dad got arrested again with, with me. you. But that wasn't having anything to do with Josephine. No, but it did happen in the court in Henderson County, so we never want a repeat of that. So we're asking you to show up to be able to do what we do, which is uh, monitor, keep track of, do your due diligence of the way the courts and the judges and the magistrates and all those involved in the judicial officers, how they handle um, in fact, this particular case right now, because as I said, it started from 2013. So with Josephine taking my dad to court, we're actually very excited about it. 
Yeah, because I mean, you have a lot of evidence. You have Lots witnesses. Of evidence. Yes, we do. We uh, all you got to do is get a, a jury trial. Johnny Duck can go, and I'm sure he can. It's exactly right. Yeah, and we, well, of course, we watched the six week trial of uh, Johnny and Amber, and uh, which had a lot of similarities with Amber and Josephine. So mm -hmm. some of you who have been in situations like that or relationships like that can certainly understand and relate. I will say that in the years that we've been tracking Henderson Polk and Transylvania County, it hasn't had the best of uh, track records. You know, well, we've seen a lot of crazy things happen there. Like I saw a gentleman get arrested for exercising his right to remain silent in Polk County. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I got arrested in Henderson County for not saying anything, mm -hmm. not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Baba, I got arrested just for standing up and saying that attorney's not my, or that woman's not my attorney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's been clear title uh, fraud and uh, a theft of the property through the Register of Deeds in Henderson County. Let's not yeah. forget uh, Kim Shepherd. Kim Shepherd and Pup, uh, the murder of her brother and the uh, incredible loss of, of Pup in the family. Yeah. And it's been a terrible, terrible tragedy. And her and her family haven't been able to receive justice mm -hmm. yet. And mm -hmm. then you have Donna, Donna Few. Few. And the death of her children, which she still um, has not gotten justice for that. So, you know. And then they let uh, Katie keep Alan's children yeah. over Christmas and New Year's. Mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also very disturbing how uh, a rapist, Jane Sapp, is still running free in Henderson County after raping a young girl uh, for seven years, and he got off. Um, so uh, one of the reasons why we're doing this video is to encourage you, invite you, um, ask you to please come to court on August 9th, which is one week from today, and um, show your love and support um, for my family and for your community to keep a watch eye on the community as John and I do all the time and um, other reporters uh, because we like to report on those that are not doing their job. Uh, we certainly would like to report on those that are doing their job so we're going to be very hopeful for August 9th that uh, they called in a, a judge from another location I believe it's from a yeah, traveling judge yeah. mm -hmm. Uh, so Fritz, hopefully Fritz he's Mercer. going to bring the law with him. Hopefully he's going to bring the law with him. And so that's why we're inviting you to uh, keep track of this and keep an eye and judge the judges yourself. And uh, to make sure that the law is not broken and the law is not violated against my dad or myself on next, next Tuesday. And, and quite simply, if you wish to live in a lawful society you gotta go witness it if you wish for the government not to be corrupt you have to keep an eye on them you have to hold them accountable you have to let them know that you know what's going on mm -hmm. and what they're doing or what they're not doing we need accountability and uh they don't do the great the greatest job of being accountable to each other so it's us man, woman, the public, to be able to keep an eye on them and track them with what they're doing and what they're not doing. So we invite you strongly and look forward to seeing you there on August 9th, Tuesday, 9 a.m. Come early uh, so you can get a seat and um, come give Barbara and us a big hug because uh, Dad's a big hugger and he'd love to see you there. And we'll see y'all there. Hope you enjoy the show. Yep, we want to thank you all for your prayers, and we thank him for uh, what's going to happen on August 9th, and believe that uh, prayers are very powerful, and so are you. So show up, and uh, thank you for listening, and we're looking forward to you coming on Tuesday. Thanks, everybody, for joining us, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye.